Today, I'd like to talk about democracy of China and the mass line of the CPC. Uh, I didn't actually discuss with uh, Professor Xiao Gang, but I think uh, uh, we are like-minded scholars. We'd like to talk about uh, democracy and China's uh, mass line. From the very beginning of 20th century, we have three principles uh, to govern China. First, party leadership. Second, people in charge. And third, rule of law. In the past 20 years, we've followed these three principles, which guarantees our sovereignty. The second principle, people in charge, is actually the Chinese way of saying democracy. It is, is it really different with the Western way of democracy? I don't think so. Uh, it refers to the power of the people to participate in the governance of the country and the rights and freedoms guaranteed to each um, citizen. We know that in Western countries, political parties and the competition of them is the main way of democracy. Well, in China, uh, people's participate participation in democracy is a major way. Since the end of the dynastic era in 1911, the concept of democracy or civil rights has had a solid legitimacy in China. President Xi Jinping clearly stated, democracy is a common value of mankind and an important concept that the Chinese Communist Party and the Chinese people have consistently upheld. Like the democratic path of many other countries. The road to democracy in China has been a bumpy and uh, treacherous one. Therefore, um, following the previous statement of uh, General Secretary Xi Jinping, he also raised an important question. How can the values and concepts of democracy be transformed into effective methods and mechanisms. He proposed a path of reflection that focuses on history and reality theory and practice. He also put forward a new concept, people's, a whole process, people's democracy. Well, there's a lot of discussion nowadays around it whether it's bottom-up or top-down, or whether it's a mutual way democracy. Well, we hope that uh, this is a two-way process that is both democratic and also um, centered. However, how can we actually transform this concept into a operable mechanism? It is not easy for us to visualize a China without the leadership of CPC. Theoretically and practically, leadership of CPC is a guarantee of uh, the social order of China and a hope of prosperity of uh, China's nation. As a matter of fact, in history, all the major dynasties in China have relied on the leadership of an organizationally and conceptually unified ruling group. Yet the problem is that the ruling groups of these successive Chinese dynasties did not embody democracy. The new uh, the People's Republic of China founded by CPC is a republic and a democratic and a democratic public. That's the major difference. How do we effectively combine party leadership and peoples in charge? I believe that uh, a by relieving and uh, um, relieving the mass line is an important way to realize this whole process, people's democracy. Just as Professor Wan has elaborated, 
what is the mass line of party? It is actually um, for the people and by the people. It has always been treated as the lifeline uh, of the party. And the main feature that distinguishes the CPC from the Soviet Communist Party is that CPC believes and promotes the mass line. The Seventh National Congress of CPC established Chairman Mao Zedong's position as the core leader and uh, the guiding ideology of Mao Zedong's thought within the party. And uh, in the closing ceremony, he actually um, used the word God to um, give an analogy between uh, Chinese people and God. So it is very important for CPC to stick to this rule. In my view, I think the mass line is a bridge. It is connecting the methodology of the party and the people's support. It is only because of the mass line of the CPC, the party has always treated the demand and wishes of uh, Chinese people as its goal. That's why uh, the Soviet Communist Party came to a crumble while Chinese Communist Party is um, thriving. That is because we always cherish the wishes and demands of the people. So uh, the party is always derived from people's wishes. So I've always been thinking about this issue. How do we revive this mess line? How do we realize whole process democracy? Well, I have a humble opinion here presented. For example, for those small problems and the issues of the people, we always prioritize them. And for those who live actually in the provincial level, in the county level, we always treat them as the most important people. And that might be the best way to do it. So if we have the same goal uh, from the uh, government, central government, and from the lower level government, we can break new grounds.